Hi guys. Hey guys. So we're here today to introduce two of our fantastically fabulous transgender friends. Both of them have at some time or another experienced discrimination uh, regarding their gender identities and it's been rather hurtful for them at times. So we've got together to put this video together to educate people, just maybe get to understand it a bit more. Plus, sometimes you will get it wrong. I've got it wrong in the past, but it's really important you get it right and you don't do it again. It's for education. So here they are and they're about to explain everything as best they can for you. Hi, I'm Alex. I'm a trans man and I go by he, him pronouns. Hi, I'm Zoe. I'm a trans woman and you can refer to me as she or her. The purpose of this video is to educate people on pronouns, um, identities and how to respect somebody and basically what to do if you do end up messing up. Apparently there are over 60 gender identities in the world today. Um, I go by trans woman, she, her. Other people have different ways of um, wanting to be called. I don't know a lot about it personally, um, but as far as I'm concerned, if you want to respect given to, to you, then you will be respectful to other people and respect how they want to be referred to. I identify as a trans man. Um, within society, everybody knows about gay, gay men, lesbians, bisexual people, trans people, but there's often identities that aren't spoken about widely. So for example, non-binary, where an individual doesn't identify with either male or female, so they use they, them pronouns, like Sam Smith. So if somebody is non-binary, use they, them, which is pretty simple, people often forget. So like, if your friend was going to the shop, you'd say, they're going to the shop. It's basically like, that the, the exact same yeah. with no like she or him pronouns, just use they. Okay, I don't know about you, Alex, but when I came out as transgender, um, I knew some people would slip up, friends and family that had known me for a long time, kind of expected it, but you know, you kind of hope that they'll try the hardest. Um, as far as I'm concerned, when I meet somebody for the first time as me now, I expect to have the, the right pronouns used. Yes, people can make mistakes, but if you want to be respectful, then you try your hardest to get it right. And if you do slip up, apologize, move on and learn from that. You wouldn't expect me to call you by a pronoun that you didn't like. So that's how I feel. In my experience, um, if somebody did slip up with pronouns, I'd pull them to, a, to the side and just explain, look, he, him pronouns, not she, her. And I wouldn't get aggressive about it, I wouldn't be annoyed by it because people do make those mistakes. It's such a life-changing experience that you can't expect somebody to like, get, to grips, like, get to grips with it straight away. Mm. And that's how everyone around me, my friends, my family, slowly started to like, use he, him pronouns yeah. more. We're all human, you know, I step yeah. up, I make mistakes sometimes. Um, there's gonna be experiences where I meet people that prefer certain pronouns that I'm not used to, and, and that's fair enough, but I will always try my hardest to get it right, yeah. because I want that person to feel welcome and to feel respected. Yeah, exactly, like, I think, as well, sometimes you might not know that individual's pronouns, they yeah. might not introduce themselves as non-binary or genderqueer, they might just, they might not present that way or explain to you, yeah. so you can often make that mistake, like, sometimes you just gotta learn and then move forward from there like yeah. you will slip up sometimes which is okay in a sense because then you learn exactly and, and if you're taught and told the right pronouns for that particular person then there shouldn't be really any mistakes after that yeah. so just try hard yes yeah, that's, exactly. that's my opinion there seems to be a lot of like high profile people out there who seem to think that it's okay to misgender and to, to discriminate against transgender people especially at the moment you've had a, a bit of that haven't you yeah i've had quite a lot of comments online from a few um a few public figure individuals which doesn't help because like millions of people look up to them yeah and then they're feeding their hatred to them it's kind of like brainwashing like getting these ideas into other people's heads well they're influ they influencing it. all these people yeah. aren't they you know they're meant to be the leaders of, of, of these people and, and the role models for these people and they're creating more hatred. Yeah, it doesn't help. Get it right.
from my experience, um, transgender visibility is becoming more and more the thing, as is the whole LGBTQ spectrum in today's society. Um, there seems to be a lot more people who think that it's okay to spout discrimination and prejudice thoughts and words into the world just because they're behind a screen. Um, how do you feel about that? I'm, for me personally, it's, it's a hate crime against me and, and other people like me who are just trying to live their lives and, and be who they want to be without hurting other people. Why, why do people think they can get away with that? It's horrible. I'm, I'm the exact same. Like In my personal experience, I get worried about my own safety because I'm open. I have been for so many years. People mm. recognize me. And I do get worried that in case like TIFFs, for example, or the hate yeah. groups somehow find where I live, like it's a huge safety issue within the trans community. Mm -hmm. You've always got to be careful. You've always got to like look over your shoulder just to make sure. Definitely. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure why they've arise. And I find one of the, also one of the biggest problems is if somebody shares a post on Facebook, for example, that's transphobic, their friends will jump on the bandwagon. Yeah. That person might not be transphobic, they might be an ally, but they're not, if that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. So that's also where the hate arises. You think somebody supports you, they're, they're a really good ally, when deep down, they're not. Some people often share things as well that they think are just there for a joke, funny things, but they're not really. Yeah. They're the, they do hurt people. Yeah. Um, and though, although they might find it a funny thing, they, they don't realise the pain that they are actually causing yeah. to some people. Yeah. Like, there is such a rise <coughs> in hate and hate crimes that I think all, all we want to do as trans people is just live a normal life, yeah. is live equally. We want to have equal chances just like everybody else. We don't want to be sticking out like a sore thumb. No, and I think you know, the more visibility there is in the world, hopefully the more equal rights we will get not yeah. that we should have to fight for equal white rights in this day and age but you know we have, we're having to just like um black people have had to fight for equal rights like women have had to fight for equal rights like gay people have had to fight for equal rights we are now going through that at this at this time and it's just insane that in the 21st century we're having to do this yeah i think the point of all of this is that we just want to be treated equally and we want people to try their best to treat us as we would treat them um, and that, that's all we can ask for really you know you are you we are us and that is that you know, as far as I'm concerned respect begets respect what does that mean <laughs> <laughs> the, if you give respect then we'll give respect just straight back so <laughs> cool <laughs>